Now, I'm a woman of consistency and discipline, but me and my main project are gonna have a divorce for now, because I want to make an isometric game. What's the worst thing that could happen? Isometric perspective is usually used for simulator and tycoon games. And you see here, fellas, I don't freaking know how to make those games. But making guns, well, if you can call them that, is one thing I'm capable of making in this sad world. So we're gonna make a shooting game. In the isometric perspective, we're basically making 3D objects in a 2D plane. We ain't using any blender thingy majiggies, because I found out it's actually fake 3D. So we have to transform our 2D world into isometric. I thought I was gonna do some Einstein. 800 IQ process. Well, not that I can do that, but all we gotta do is switch time up mode to isometric, convert our movement from 2D to isometric using this function I learned from GD Quest tutorial, and voila! It's actually dead simple. <laughs> Speaking of that, we want things to die from bullets. So let's get right into shooting. Now, I had different ideas for the gameplay. Give the player and enemies a health bar, or players and enemies are dead with one shot. We're gonna choose the second idea. Because having only one life makes things more thrilling, you know. Pop in the code that makes things go pew pew. Added a dash mechanic that I learned from Ranjan's tutorial because dash mechanic in games is just so freaking cool. Now we're gonna give it some friends. So this move toward function that I'm currently using makes our enemies move in a very paranormal manner. So we're gonna have to use something different. First, let's take a look at Miami Hotline's enemies movement. It's pretty linear and predictable, and with the power of Nav 2D and Get Simple Path, our enemies can now follow us just like in Miami Hotline. So this amazing game that we're making has a mass number of one enemy. That sounds very lonely. <laughs> so we're gonna make more enemies. I made another red guy, but now they're blue and they have a knife. You can really see my creativity shine here. It looks like I took inspiration from stock photos, but I'm gonna skip past that. A laser that works with only one line of code and an animation player. And prototype's done. Now all we need to do is put in all the game art that took me god knows how long. And voila! Now let's try it out. After going through five stages of grief in one minute, I realized that this game's really terrible. How do I make the game look less pathetic than it actually is? Well, I tried adding some game juice magic and more feedback. These were my hopeful attempts of hiding the fact that my game sucks ass. But ladies and gentlemen, I recently just found out about this god-given feature. Like, it almost feels like cheating. It's perfect. It's called post-processing. Added all of that spice in which took for like, what, 20-30 minutes? And the atmosphere just hits different, you know? Small things really make a big difference. Alright, I'll play some levels because I know you don't have time to play this, you know, which is, which is fine. And level 2 is very easy. Just finish these enemies and just gonna disturb these people. Having a very nice date or something. Here in this level, we introduce a new mechanic, which is the lasers, which I think we died from the lasers. Amazing. And level 2 is very easy. You can play the game now on itch.io. It's called Shots. I know, it's a very terrible name. I told myself I was gonna think of a better name in the future, but I didn't. So making this game might have looked easy, but in all levels except physical, I'm dead. And also one last thing, consider liking and subscribing because that'll let me know if I should make more videos like this. Bye.